Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be exploring the topic of bows. Which ones work best on fighter class and why I think range in general is just a little crazy right now. This could likely change very quickly with the upcoming patch. But typically most of you will always tell me I must run crossbow on fighter. And yeah, I truthfully agree. We're going to explore some other options as well like the survival bow and whether or not taking anything other than the crossbow actually makes sense. And as you just witnessed right there, playing Slayer Fighter, range damage is almost necessary. And you get a cheap 75 damage for a 44 weapon damage crossbow from the vendor for next to nothing. Now that being said, you have other options. You can take Weapon Mastery, you can throw on a Survival Bow, Long Bow, Recurve Bow, anything you like. And I truthfully tried out Survival Bow and was quite impressed, and I'll share with you some of that gameplay from the stream at the end of this video. But yes, Survival Bow, you do not do a lot of damage. 25 damage on an 18 weapon damage Survival Bow is pretty minimum. The thing is, you can sling about 10 arrows down range before a character or player, you know, starts to draw closer. It's a little more forgiving, same as Longbow. If you miss a couple shots, you have an opportunity to land another one to slow that guy down and give yourself a little bit more space, which is exactly what you usually need. You need that 20 damage, an opportunity to draw your weapon, and then get into the fight. In this instance, we're fighting two rogues, one we didn't know was even around. And as you'll see, without any sort of slow, you're not usually catching a rogue, or for the most part, a ranger. If you do not have a throwable or a bow of any kind, you're never catching these guys, or you're never able to finish them off and deal the damage necessary. And as we were fighting one, we end up landing the kill. However, his buddy had showed up to give him some help, and weapon damage stacking on throwing knives has killed me so many times. You don't need to stack that much damage and you're hitting my poor Slayer Fighter for a lot of damage. And this leads me into the conversation about trading any sort of range damage on Slayer Fighter is extremely difficult. Like right here, I'm kind of baited into the crossbow, I land a nice shot. And leave myself way too exposed to be double tapped by Longbow. I'm fully aware you need range damage, but just don't get too caught up in it. Use it when you absolutely need it, and try not to play so much back and forth ranger gameplay. Because you're not wearing any plate, and unless you have plate on, your projectile resistance is minimum. However, you should always be taking a crossbow, because of situations like this, or a longbow, or a survival bow, whatever you prefer. You need the range damage at this point in the game. Like I said, weapon damage stacking, I hope, is likely to change. Additional physical damage is way too strong on throwing knives or throwing axes. Most of my melee fights, if I'm trying to escape or disengage, end with either a crossbow bolt in the back of the brain, a longbow in the back of the neck, or a throwing knife in the back of my heel. That's all it takes, and that usually finishes me off. This doesn't leave you much room for error playing Slayer Fighter. You seriously have to be super careful with how you use that range damage. You should definitely be taking one of these options, and I'm not going to tell you which is better. Bows are more forgiving, they allow you to sling more arrows, and if you miss consistently, you still have an opportunity to maybe land one that will help you in that fight. Crossbow is pretty much, you either hit that shot, or you're not probably going to be able to reload that thing before engaging in the next fight. Now what I'd like to do is share with you some of my survival bow gameplay, and I'll let you guys make up your own minds on whether or not you think it's successful in fighter or not. I know it can really tear through a lot of players with quick shot ranger, and on fighter it may have a place, but generally speaking, just take a bow or crossbow, one or the other. You need something. So thank you all, this was live on the Twitch. I've been loving streaming to you guys, been exceptionally busy. So I will try to get back to making long form stuff once we get the new patch. For now, enjoy. Get out of here, pal. Daring me a bit. Get clubbed by that damn, uh... Why are my frames tanking, also? This thing is gonna get me killed. Shit. Oh, this isn't good. 
good, fellas. Is he shield slamming? That's what I'm, that's what I'm expecting here. I feel like I'm getting trolled on here. <clears throat> Shit. Need to heal. Not a good idea. Get my sword back up, please. Oh, Viking sword let me down. I should have used um short sword there, I think. Damn, I couldn't get I couldn't get away from him long enough to get healed and the second wind to die off. What do you guys think? Like, have you guys found many items like this in Goblin Caves? I feel like purples or purple items like gear items is very common at all. Also, does anyone ever use this item? Have Have you guys ever seen a hatchet like being used in the game? I can't remember the last time I've witnessed a player, a dark and darker player, use the hatchet. It needs some help, I think. One in 15 <laughs> games. Man, I haven't, I don't think I've seen it this week. Like, it used to be kind of fun, like, um, somehow it used to work. I don't know what's happened. And what they did to it. We should did for a while, yeah. How are your raids going? Uh, rolls. They're going. We're in Goblin Caves. We're getting uh, outclassed in Ruins. We did have some successes. Ruins was good. We made some money. We haven't really lost too much money. We lost some of our weapons, and... We can, we can jump into Ruins with this and see what happens. I can show you. Um, there's guys... I, I died to a group that had, like, Demon's Glee and Falchion of Honor. It's a Slayer Fighter with a plus four weapon damage crossbow. Um, and then it was a warlock, I think. No, it was a rogue. And um, I died to them like my second game. So like three and some hours ago. And I died to them a couple games ago. So they've been running the same gear and ruins like all night and just destroying people. So ruins is kind of a death pit for my poor slayer, especially when you can't find a helmet to use. We can try it. Don't mind. I got killed by a Viking Sword Hatchet Slayer today. Damn. I was naked. A lot of two-hand weapons need the quarter staff treatment. Hmm. I mean like a little bit lower movement speed penalty, probably. Right, hatchet on barb for a while, it's not the best, but if you get up close, it's not the worst. Tough range though, yeah. I feel like it falls right in there with horseman's axe now. The Horseman's has been, like, super underused also. Where are we? Wow. We'll go here first, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, Cleric? If you're not used to Cleric, and you're, like, trying it for the first time, or trying it, like, here and there, Feels really clumsy. Feel really like stumble bum. I don't know if you guys know it. This little double jumping bastard. Jesus. <laughs> oh, look at this. I want them dead. I can't believe this one's not dead. How is this guy alive?
hit him in the face. This is kind of fun, though. This is like, um... It's like what we were talking about earlier with, like, Halo custom games. This is like Duck Hunt. You get the characters bouncing around through, like, an obstacle course, and you're shooting them with a sniper rifle. What's going on here? It's really good, um, survival boat practice. A little high. Thought he was gonna move. Okay, he did move. <laughs> okay. There we go. He's not liking those. Look at this, like, what am I playing? What game is this? Happy Horseman's nerf, I got... Nerf, I pre-hatch it now. After, after Horseman nerf, I prefer hatch it now. Okay, gotcha. How many of these are you gonna take? Halo custom games were the shits, yeah. We were talking about it earlier. My friend had, uh... My friend had recon armor in Halo 3, so we used to invite... Like kids, like ten year olds and stuff, or twelve year olds, and into custom games like constantly, and tell them that I'm gonna run out of arrows here. If they beat us in these custom games, we would um. I was telling this earlier, but we would uh, give them recon armor, right? Oh, here we go. We're mine now. That's right. Kill your buddy too. Oh, maybe not. Not quite as quick. They took health shrine on me, the little bastards. It only cost us like 25 arrows. And half our HP. <laughs> Seven arrows. Wow. This guy didn't get hit as much. We got some of them back. We are super hurt, though. Look at this. Oh, God. Please, health shrine. Please come back. Nice. Worth it every day of the week, yeah. They always have their master plan. You never know what these little guys are going to do. I think they're waiting for someone to go to Hell Shrine and just shank them, right? It's happened to me a few times. Yeah, we had we had recon armor. My friend had recon armor. It was really cool. What's it going to do to him? Like 10 damage? Just well? I feel like they're like lobbing like some what's going on there? Like am I not aiming high enough? I don't think so. That hit him, I think. Running out of arrows. I can't this is fun, but it's not really that effective. Not super effective. Mine gold, yeah. They're literally waiting to jump on someone that's not expecting it. It's happened to me a million times in here. Running Soul Rogue is some of the most fun I've had in the game. Yep. The sense of freedom is unmatched. Exactly. You can double jump around, parkour, choose when you want to... Choose when you want to fight people. Uh, choose when you want to go, like, you know, hide in the shadows. You have a lot of choices you can make on Rogue that other classes can't make. golden age of multiplayer FPS games. My multiplayer FPS started with World at War and Halo 3, so. JROV TV, thank you so much for that crime. Hugely appreciated, man. Thank you. Doesn't even say anything in chat, just lurking. You guys are the MVPs, that's for sure. Only choice is we must fight. Yep. For fighter class, well, that's why I play Slayer Fighter, because it gives me a few more options to escape. Um, slowing and finish people, creating space, yeah. It's fun to shoot it, though. So I kind of spammed a lot of arrows at these rogues. If you're playing any sort of, like, PDR or armor build, um, flange maze. You do not get the cho choice to escape. Usually fighting people. When they see you. Oh. Not too often I see a blue... Blue torch.
I don't want speed run. Barry Bond, thank you for the follow, my man. I might have hard pushed you if you weren't spamming at them, probably. This is my little area. This is, I don't know if you guys notice this. I love this little area. Heat shrine, health shrine, protection shrine. I think it's some of the coolest, um, one of the coolest areas in Dark and Darker. The tower up there, underground boss over here. Like, cool fights on the bridge. Lots of different ways to interact with the environment. Like, you guys gotta take two of my arrows just to leave me alone. I think I saw a team there. Yep. Mm. Adam Bomb, 1979. Nice to see you. Thank you for the follow. Oh shit, you stream. Nice dude, love the content. Yep, I've been here the last uh, few nights. We will see how it goes. Oh, that go right over his head. Are they fighting each other? This is their time. What are they? Oh, they're fighting this mob. Excellent. Why'd that mob just stop moving? Weird. Nice. Oh my god. Please die. I want that speed try. That was fun. I love those fights. That's why I love this game right there. More to deal with by the sound of it, though. It's usually, what happens to me? I can't just let you enjoy the victory. Pretty much new players, but I'm okay. Or newly geared players. Okay with that. We need a confidence booster once in a while. The bow was nice. The bow did work out nice there. Okay, we're gonna get. I don't know if you guys just saw what I saw, but that is a windless crossbow. I think pointed at me. Plus five movement speed, survival bow. That's not bad. This isn't good. No, I missed. I had to land that last headshot. Damn, that was close. Yeah, frig, dude. We hit the survival bow. Oh man! If I had a, if I had second wind, second wind, I think we get a lot of good gear, man. We get some nice stuff. Not like super. This isn't like best in slot weapon damage. This would have been a nice upgrade. He's got some decent PDR. Forty percent physical damage, and we had him sweating. Very close, dude was juice. Yeah. He thought that was gonna be an easier fight than it was. Yeah, yeah Dr. Spoon's calling me out for um hitting some flick shots and I missed that damn fighter twice. Uh I had to hit him once. Hit him once. Notice though with the with the arming sword versus the falchion. If you time your swings right, you can you can do some pretty nasty headshot damage while they're hitting body and arms. If they're if they're not careful with their swings, I'm quite impressed. We had enough speed to get in, slap him in the face, and then outrange his swing, which I thought was pretty cool. Damn, that was a good fight. That was a blue arming sword and a couple cheap merchant items. So that is why I love Slayer, and we finally have a helmet now, which would be would have been very handy. I don't know if we had a helmet in that fight or not. Hi folks, so if you're watching this, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 5k subs. You have seriously changed how I see content and gaming.
and content creation over the past couple weeks. I've been trying to get Twitch streams going, and as you can tell, it's 15 degrees in my trailer, 15 degrees Celsius. Tonight's supposed to be minus two. I just don't truthfully have a good space in my home to create content without interrupting my family. So I've been doing everything I can to try to make this possible, and I just wanted to share with you that I'm hugely, hugely appreciative of everything you guys have been doing. Going forward, it's going to get even more difficult though. So over the next two months, I'm actually quitting work for a while. Well, not really quitting. Taking a leave so I can work in the woods every day. And that's because this chainsaw I have, I'll show you it. Puppy right there. It's beautiful. It's a little underused. And that's basically because of you guys. Let's see. Look at this bad boy. I need to use this thing a lot more. Usually, I spend most of my days in the woods or working on farms. And because of YouTube and streaming, I've been seriously neglecting that. Like, I may have put two tankfuls through that thing this summer, which is a bit odd. And going forward, I'll be using that thing almost every day. So, I will do everything I possibly can to keep making long-form con long content, whether it be on Twitch or on YouTube. But even, like I've always said on all my streams, if things were to end immediately, I'm already super excited and happy with how far we've come. It's pretty exciting. I look, I'll look back on some of these videos and streams as being some of the most amazing things I've done in gaming throughout my whole life. So thank you for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.